Casa, will you tell me about the fruit and all of the thumbnails? Stick around folks and I'll be sure to explain that and I can't believe we're already in March. Uh, the past nine months have been a rather extensive journey for me coming out of solitude um, from loss of my son to becoming a content creator, um, establishing faith in society and people, helping others and working on making a community of folks who want to combat a negative world with kindness, hope and blessings. Then we had my recent illness, uh, my allergic reaction that reminded me that human body really can only take so much. Uh, I spent weeks scrutinizing my blood pressures, being extremely tired, and just overall feeling terrible. At that point, I think I knew that I needed to make some more changes and be honest with myself. And really, those changes amount to, amount to schedule and time. Um, in the time away from streaming live I did learn a few things um, I wasted a lot of time on people that wouldn't piss on me if I caught fire uh, it's hard to keep a live streaming schedule with the career that I have um, my hours vary uh, sometimes I get away with 45 hours a week sometimes 60 is not it feels like it's not enough so um, you know I have to work some days I just can't I just can't do it even though I really want to and I have to be honest with myself about that um, on a plus side while I've been away and working on myself and other things I've really found enjoyment in making videos and the whole process of writing out a creative story and then bringing it to life and the magic that you can make with video editing I've really found love in that and passion in it and the YouTube algorithm has also intrigued me. Um, and I've been spending a lot of time researching um, the algorithm and different kinds of content creation strategies and such on YouTube. And it, I feel like it's a nut that I want to crack. Um, that all said, I am going to be changing my content creation focus. So that's the big announcement. Um, I will be putting all my available time and effort into YouTube channel. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to stream live anymore. Um, that means that the live streams are going to be more ad hoc and they're going to be purposeful. Um, I'm not just going to jump on to play a game anymore. I'm not going to just jump on to video edit. I'm not going to just jump on to do some leather working. I want to have a purpose when I go live. Um, other than that, all of my time and energy is going to be into creating short and long form content. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of plans, and now um, with these changes, I have the ability to start um, strategizing and executing on them. Uh, I don't want anyone to think that this is uh, me giving up on kick streaming or anything like that. Um, I do still feel that kick can become a very great platform. I think it can revolutionize streaming. But I also feel like a lot of the content creators on kick and the lack of conscious a word I'm looking for the lack of conscious effort to provide viewers with an experience that makes them want to come to kick is really going to hurt it and could kill it before it gets off the ground if people don't change their ways and um, kick in itself doesn't become more aggressive towards some of the shock and awe content that makes people not want to go there but you know that's a that's a kick problem not a casa problem so they can they can work on that um, I've also decided that I am going to reinstate my ex to some degree so that I can put the long form posts in X as well um, it does offer me uh, the ability to create content there without needing to uh, schedule like I like you know, have to be live at a certain time, things like that. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit more and go with that. Um, don't worry, though. I still have every intention of supporting those folks on stream, um, that stream on kick or any other platforms that I watch. None of that's going to change. Um, there are plenty of deserving good folks. And if you guys stop looking at the shit sucks on every platform, you guys are going to find those good creators that deserve your time and um, 
and you'll find some really interesting people. You meet some really great people, some people that really deserve your effort, your time, and some people that are really trying to make the world a better place like I am. So I hope that you guys are all ex as excited as I am for this journey, and I will do my best to maintain uh, daily content on YouTube and X. Uh, X is really not a problem. YouTube takes a little bit more time because I like to put some time into um, editing the videos, and as I learn new things and as I get better, I probably will speed things up and sometimes slow things down um, as I'm working through some new challenges that I want to solve to make the content better for all of you. But that's really where we are. March is all about marching towards making you, my YouTube channel more prominent. March is uh, for marching towards building a better growl community and being the best person that I can be. Now, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, so the fruit. The fruit in the thumbnails is symbolic as well as contrast. Um, one of the strategies with thumbnails is to make so, put something in there that doesn't make sense, that makes intrigue. Um, it doesn't make sense, but it does. So the fruit is reference to the fruits of your labor. Uh, that's exactly right. It's the fruit of your life's work, my life's work, our life's work. Consider it clickbait with a deeper meaning. Until next time, be inspired, be inspiring, and growl louder. Peace.